Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, time for another video, the Monday night video here for you. And um, I said a while back that occasionally I'm going to go back and redo some of my old videos. This is the case in this one. Uh, I'm going to redo the squirmy worm. This is the improved squirmy worm, they call this. Uh, the video that I shot before, whenever we shot the video with the squirmy worm, was back at the very beginning of the big squirmy worm craze when you... You had to go out to the dollar store and find a squishy toy with the little rubber rubber legs on it, cut the legs off, and you know, you were limited to the size of, you know, most of them are about this long, you were limited to the size of them, whereas now, uh, the squirmy worm packs, you know, the squirmy worms are almost a foot long, and you can get two or three worms out of one, one strand of worm. So, um, we're going to show you how to do it with the new material that's been out for a couple years now, it's just I haven't updated my video on it. So remember, you can tie this in a couple different colors. I think we carry it in like six or eight or nine different colors. I forget what it is. I know it's a lot, and uh, fish love it. It's a you know, it's the just a hyped up version of a San Juan worm. So give it a try, and it's super easy to tie. All right, the improved squirmy worm. This is a very easy fly to tie. Um, thread, bead, hook, and squirmy worm. All that's to it, real easy. This one is an orange one, actually fluorescent orange. I'm going to tie it in San Juan, San Juan red. Um, you can, like I said earlier, you can get it in a couple different colors. This is um, orange. I fish this one some. The San Juan red I fish mainly. But just, you know, have a couple different colors, mix it up. You never know what they're going to want that day. For hook, I'm tying this on a fire hole, 316 in a size 12. My bead is a 1 8 tungsten bead. This fly is used a lot by competition nymph fishermen. Um, two of the guys that have taught me a lot um, with the competition nymph fishing, when I watch them fish, a lot of times they start out with this or a mop fly. This is their, I guess you would call it a surveying fly. And, um, you know, this was just a very, very fish catching fly. It's a, a good. It's just good to have on to start with until you figure out what they want. Um, that was one of the things I picked up from both of them. I noticed both of them doing it. They'll, depending on the water conditions, it's either this or a mop fly usually. Like I said, we're going to tie this one in a San Juan red. Um, with my lighting here, it looks a little pink, but it's actually a, uh, between a pink and a red. Very simple. We're going to lay this on the back of the hook. And I'm going to put about an inch and a half, I would say, behind the hook. And then we're going to loose loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it down with my fingers. We're going to bring the thread up. We're going to pinch the thread in my fingers and pull it down on the other side. Now, I do not want to pull tight on this. Actually, the, the amount of tightness I want is more or less dropping my bobbin down with the thread, letting, letting that be the tension gauge. And... If you pull it any tighter, A, it will cut your cut your squirmy, and B, it will also pull your squirmy around the hook. So just loop it on there tight enough to get it to stay on, and you can see how it just wiggles around back here. Okay, then we're going to make a couple wraps in front of the lead, I mean in front of our worm. And uh, I forgot to say, when you put this bead on, you see how I put the bead about and a bead's length back from the eye. That one's a little bit shy of that, but that's okay. We're gonna bring, we're gonna finish off the squirmy worm up here. So what I do is I just make a couple wraps in front, a couple wraps behind like that to lock that bead in place like that. The next thing we're gonna do is take our squirmy worm, keep some tension on it, and we're just gonna wrap it forward. And we're just gonna keep wrapping it over itself, kind of making a rib going up through there. Try to keep even tension. Now, I know, so, unbelievably, I haven't lost it yet. Usually it slips out of my hand and I lose it. But as you wrap this up, it will naturally push its way back and cover up the thread wrap back here. So just wrap it enough wraps that you see you covered up your thread in the back. You can see how it blends in there nice. And then again, just a couple light wraps, just enough to hold it into place. About three is all I do. And I don't really put any tension on it. Then I bring my line up in front of my bead. I'm going to pull the squirmy worm in front of the bead. 
and we're just going to make about three more light lap wraps and I hold my squirmy worm up like to hold that wrap in place okay and then once I get that done just going to bring my thread in front finish this fly off with a nice whip finish and uh, there we go try to try to get that squirmy worm to stay out of the way for a second while I whip finishes oh, Jovi my dog is hanging out with me and she doesn't want to be here today so she's doing a little whining she usually she lays right underneath me while I tie and that's all that's to it so whip finish that off cut your front tag about the same length as your back tag and we'll go out here we'll cut this off about right there always cut it long you can always cut it shorter later and that is all that is to the squirmy worm you saw how simple that was to tie and like always if I wasn't talking I could whip that out a lot faster so that's all give it a try give it a try in a couple different colors like I said um, check us out at the shop for all the needs the hooks the beads everything you need to tie it and uh, thanks again for watching guys make sure you comment like it and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it if you're new to wholesingersflyshop.com subscribe to our channel we got a ton of videos out there and we're constantly coming up trying to do it like twice a week and uh, I've been doing pretty good at two a week out getting to a week out to you so uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.